Hello, I'm Mr. Brewer. I teach academic physics here at Seven Links High School. And recently we've been talking about current and circuits and so forth. A lot of people think that an electron goes from point A to point B in a circuit. That's not really accurate. Let's look at what I'm talking about here. Charges do not move from point A to point B like you're passing a ball. We thought that way. This doesn't make as much sense. It actually more along the lines of moves like dominoes. It goes from an area of larger charge to an area of lower charge. Let's talk about volts. That's what that really is. Volts is basically potential difference. If we remember our gravitational potential energy, higher the height, greater the, the distance, greater the slope, and so forth, more energy you have. Same idea here. Greater the voltage has greater potential difference. Nine volts to one half volts, you have more volts here, you can do more work, lights are brighter, you can get more work done with a nine volt, okay, opposed to one half volt. The potential volts, potential difference is volts. More potential difference, the nine to one and a half, and it means greater volts, and it means greater force. And what does that really mean? Well, we have different things to consider here. We have a path in which the charge moves here. You have what we call a circuit here. It goes from over the line and so forth. If you think of a, a six-lane highway opposed to a one-lane highway, a six-lane seems to be a lot quicker, less resistance, opposed to a one-lane. Anyone who's been on I-10 I to Houston know what I'm talking about here. But a circuit is where the charge is being passed over a wire from point A to point B, where the charge is passed like a domino, where there's series or parallel circuits. You ever get to a grocery store and you think, I just wish the line would go quicker because I can get more work done if I can get through this line and all the store and on way home and doing whatever I need to do. The concept is the same when you talk about series and parallel circuits. And this is what I mean here. Let's say we have the amount of push. Pulse refers to the amount of volts you have. So all these people are pushing on each other, but you only have room register open. And if that register goes out, the whole thing shuts down. What happens if you say, hey, what if they open another register? If they open another register, that means I can move quicker, I can do more work. That's like a parallel. So that's like a parallel. So you have the same amount of push here, for example, but now you have alternate paths here. So it gets to here and you actually get out the, out the store quicker and more work. That's the same concept between one path in a series circuit or alternate paths in a parallel. Parallels can move a lot quicker. So volts are push. Speed would be like amps. Volts, you can have as many push as you want to, but you only have one path, it's going to slow you down. You may have as much push in volts you have here. You might have a 9 volt here, a lot of push here, but if you have two different ways, you're going to get through a lot quicker. That means there's more amps. So let's recap real quick here. Okay. Volts in a is like the push in a line here. Force or charges. We talk about volts as in volts are called potential difference. Greater potential difference, greater the push. But really it comes down to how fast is it moving? How fast is the charge being transferred? Like dominoes through the wire here. That's how fast, that means the speed of the charge is referring to amps. And of course amps are in amps, that is current. So let's look at, looking at current and so forth, let's be safe with it. A normal outlet's about 120 volts. About one and a half amps, depends on the, what you need to do here. So be careful around electricity and so forth. And keep in mind, keep the fun in physics there's no retreat, there's no surrender. That is Spartan Law. Keep your physics fun.